So it's just like you're out there in the jungle and you have to fight for yours. So As Jamaica's Akira Nugent opens her 2024 outdoor season at the upcoming Miramar Invitational April 6 in the women's 100 meter hurdles. She says in the hurdles competition, it's a jungle out there, but no one is going to share her food. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to go. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know in the next video drops, you drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, enjoy the content. Please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. On the ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, you know, she's a channel favorite. Uh, Kira Nugent opens her outdoor season the women's 100 meters alongside the world champion, the remarkable Daniel Williams, Jamaica's Demisha Roswell, one of our most talented, as well as Amoy Brown. This, of course, takes place at the Miramar Invitational happening tomorrow, April the 6th in Miramar uh, in the United States, Florida, to be exact. The Jamaicans open up their outdoor seasons officially. Um, competing against the likes of Daniel Beatty, uh, Christiana Clemens, Amber Hughes, and several other athletes. And of course, we're looking forward to see what our Jamaicans will do. But we're going to concentrate today primarily on Akira Nugent. Akira Nugent, as you know, was able to make it through to the finals of the world championships last year in her very very first time making the jamaica team i think she ended up in the sixth position fifth or sixth position take a look harrison third from the right hand side but it's devon charlton who got the best start now she's clattered the hurdles trying to come through williams running really well on the far side kenny harrison trying to get in the mix so to camacho quinn it might be williams on the far side I've just got a feeling Williams has done it. Akira Nugent had an incredible 2023 season, winning both the NCAA 60 meter hurdles championship as well as the NCAA 100 meter hurdles championships in 2023. Plus, of course, making the world championships final. Been here. Masai Russell has a fast, aggressive hurdle. Look at that look on her face. You know she. Any type of a team situation where. Good start for Masai Russell, but Armstrong is right there. Russell's already hitting hurdles. It's Armstrong, now here comes Nugent. It's going to be Nugent. Russell coming back, but it's too late. Akira Nugent wins it. Russell second, Armstrong third. 12-26. Oh, my. Unfortunately, huge tailwind. Nugent has been very vocal about her focus and determination in terms of the 100 meter hurdles, as well as her opinions on the other top tier hurdlers. Now available, Peter Lloyd World t-shirts with yep, good to go, and bless up on the highest quality t-shirts. You can get long sleeve, short sleeve, any size and or color you choose. We have them cut for women and for men. So if you want to support the channel, keep us glowing, keep us growing, keep the best in sports happening. Get your Peter Lloyd World t-shirt because you Roy, are truly the best. Last month uh, on our first, yep, good to go sports live stream where we had the pleasure of speaking with Akira Nugent. She spoke frankly about her focus and determination in achieving her goals in the women's 100 meter hurdles globally. We asked her who was she most focused on in terms of an adversary in the women's 100 meter hurdles and this was her answer. Do you Everybody. have a... Who? Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I love that answer. That's a good answer. <laughs> Every, well, everybody has become a rival because right now we're all sitting at a table mm -hmm. and guess what? Nobody's going to share my meal for me. So it's just like when we get on that line, everybody wants to eat. So it's just like you're out there in the jungle and you have to fight for yours. So everybody's my rival. 
I like that. She said everybody. And you're out there in the jungle. Everybody has to eat. The one that you meet the hardest. Okay. Well, the hurdles have evolved over the years because it's just like um, you're having ladies running 12-3, 12, three, 12 there's not much 12-2. Um, you're having ladies that are running 12-3, 12, 12-4 12, daily. It's just like a walk in the park. So, Now, this, of course, is my two cents. There is no question. I mean, anybody who comes here often knows that I am a open, openly a huge supporter of this young lady. I think she's a great talent. Um, and I'm really curious to see what she does tomorrow in the her first 100 meter hurdle race for the entire 2024 season she'll be opening her season alongside of course the remarkable daniel williams another another athlete who i'm a huge fan of as well as demisha roswell and amoy brown um but i just wanted to focus on akira simply because um you know apart from the, the sheer talent which many of the other athletes have I'm just fascinated by her focus and determination, and she's she's right, you know. I mean, once you hit that line, everyone is your adversary. Everyone is your enemy, so to speak, once you get on the line, because you're in the jungle, and everybody needs to eat. To eat, not heat. Eat. Eat. E-E-A-T. E so I can quite grasp and understand. So I'm really curious to see what happens tomorrow. Now, I can't quite predict, because the Herders is a very, very strange event, and I find that this time of year, Daniel Williams, the world champion, tends to start out kind of slowly and builds the momentum. And she always thinks she's behind where she should be. Uh, Akira Nugent is very, very focused, uh, gives 100% every time. Um, Demisha Roswell is sort of in inconsistent. Amari Brown, I think, is getting there. And not to mention the other athletes they'll be running against. But clearly, I think the Jamaicans have the advantage here. So I am thinking it's going to be between Akira Nugent and... Um, Daniel Williams and and I'm leaning more towards Daniel Williams I kind of think but I really just want to see what Akira does opening up her 100 meter uh, season this is going to be a heck of a year you know she said it um, she just said it in in, a, in 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 the video she said um, in the in the 100 meter hurdles women are running uh, 12.40 and 12.30 as if it's a walk in the park which is and it, those are insane times by the way insane times and if you have a 12.12 a, a world record, which is unfathomable on, in, on, in every level that one can come up with mentally, those are insane times. And the hurdles, I'm going to say it again, I've said it in several videos. Yeah, I've said the women's 100 meter hurdles at the Paris Olympic Games, the finals is probably going to be the most competitive female sprint, even more so than the women's flat 100 meters. That's just my humble opinion. Uh, and I'm expecting to see Jamaicans are top um, and certainly in the top three. I think this young lady has a chance to be there. So, like I said, curious to see what she does tomorrow. Not expecting any crazy times. I want them all to sort of ease into the season. It's still very, very, very early. We don't want anyone peaking before their time. But this, of course, is my two cents. Just love when she said um, no one is going to, you know, to, to, to eat her food. No one is going to set her, set her plate, so to speak. Uh, your royals, kings and queens, bless up.